Welcome back to this series where we're building a tool in Ruby on Rails to manage descriptions of YouTube videos. Um, so we've gone through the process of modeling our database, building out some views. Uh, we went through a whole video about how to authenticate with the YouTube API using Rails. In the previous video, we used this search list endpoint from the YouTube data API to fetch all of our videos and populate the model data. Um, in, this, in this episode, what I want to do is, uh, the end goal is that we walk away and we have updated the description of some video on YouTube, one of our videos on YouTube. So, um, so what I think we want to do is extend our existing video uh, or our, our existing class that we have for interacting with YouTube. And we want to add support for passing in some content in order to update the video request. So you must specify the ID snippet title. Um, let's see. Only required if the request updates the video's resources snippet. Category ID properties only required if it updates the video resources snippet. Um, you can also set these. So this is the one that we really care the most about right now is updating snippet.description. Um, and I don't actually know how this is going to work. So if we head back over to, <laughs> we've been referring directly to this um, Google API Ruby client, which provides some methods for interacting with the YouTube API. Um, let's see if there's an update method. Update video. Okay, cool. Update video, and then it takes apart the video object. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Let's see. What is the video object? The video, ooh, wow, it takes the actual YouTube, okay, interesting, interesting. I wonder if that is uh, required, hmm. All right, and then it takes uh, the fields and quota users options. Okay, so let's let's just like um, mess around with this. So, so if we have this fetch video thing, let's make an update video method. Uh, def update video and I don't know what it's going to take yet <clears throat> but let's see here so part video object this video object thing is throwing me off a little bit but I think we can figure it out so make a simple command it's a put request to YouTube v3 videos and I believe that matches what this endpoint is doing right put request to YouTube v3 video. So that is the right request. Request representation. Uh, video representation, request object, the video object. Okay, so I wonder if we can just new up an instance of a video object, set its description, and then pass that in here. And if that will like be good enough, um, I don't know, let's see. So, what do we want to do? We want to call service dot update video, and we want to pass in part. What is the part? Who cares about the part? Is the part just snippet? Oh wow. Okay, so this one has a whole bunch of other stuff. Content details. All right, so we need to figure out what a video. Um, I think we're just updating the snippet because that's where the description lives. So is that one of the parts we can update? Uh, snippet, yeah. Okay, so let's pass that as the part. Um, part, oh no, just uh, snippet, um, which is the same as above, right? Same as when we listed. So we're gonna update the video and then we need to pass in a video object. So how do we new one of these up? Um, sorry, I keep switching over to that view. Uh, let's see if, hmm. Yeah, how do we, how do we make one of these? Uh, hmm. Video intelligence? No. We want just a YouTube video. <laughs> uh, oh gosh. Okay, so YouTube video. 
Um, I wonder if I can just say new and then pass description is like test. And uh, I think there was another thing that we had to pass like at a minimum, right? Um, so we need to pass the ID. Um, let's just say ID is equal to, and then we'll, let's pick a specific video from our list here. Um, Ruby on Rails, okay, so yeah, sure. This is uh, an ID that's not quite public yet, or a, a video that's not quite public yet. So we'll give it that ID. Um, actually, let's let's pull this out and just say uh, this. And in in the back of my head, I'm thinking, okay, um, if the if the API is expecting an object that looks like this, we should probably take in one of an instance of our local video objects and then convert it to this thing, which is just a tr the matter of like passing in the descriptions and such um, from our local object potentially. And this actually is probably like in um, snippet like this, I bet. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm just kind of guessing at this point um, because there, I don't see a way to, like I don't, I don't see where this is defined. Um, class video, there's no, yeah, okay. So maybe it's in this representation thing. Representations, oh, classes, interesting. Video, class, video. Uh, Okay, so it's just giving you the JSON, JSON orientation. Class video. Okay, cool. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so tons of adder assessors. One of them is an ID. That's good. Um, and we can initialize it with a bunch of args. And are any of them a description? Description, video localization. Okay, so this might be more interesting. Video snippet. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna have to like figure out all this stuff to make a video. Okay, so class video. <laughs> uh, okay. No, come on, Chrome. Okay, all right, so age gating, content details, details about the content of a YouTube video. I think maybe there's a snippet thing in here. Okay, snippet, here we go, boom, snippet. So snippet should not be a hash, it should be a new instance of this thing. Nope, this thing dot new, and that takes, I think, a description. So now let's go to class video snippet, and this has the category ID, channel ID, channel title, default language, and description, cool. All right, so let's see. So this is making the new video. Um, all right. Uh, there was some other stuff here. Yeah, so this property is only required if the video updates, the video resources snippet and this. Okay, so title and category are both required. It's so interesting. So title is testing. And actually, let's just make sure that we copy the title. <laughs> All right, so that, that was the previous title. Um, description is test. And then what was the other requirement here? The other requirement is that if we're changing, we have to set the category ID. I don't actually know what the category ID is right now for these videos, but if we do indeed have to set this, then we're gonna need to store it when we fetch the video because I don't know what these are, unless we can just like hard code it to the same category for every single video. So why don't we look at, uh, yeah, let's go through our process for creating a new instance of this service thing and fetching it. So why, and then why.fetch videos.first, or no, and then we have to say, 
Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay. Because fetch videos only accepts a block, so we can't actually interact with it as easily. Um, okay. So we're going to fetch one video or one, one like search result, r dot items dot first dot snippet dot category ID. No. Uh, channel ID, channel description. Yeah, we're just looking for the category ID, class.new.methods. Okay, where can we find the category ID? Snippet category ID. I don't, it doesn't seem like this is on the actual thing. Um, so, do we need to try to use list videos and pass in that ID just to get the category ID? Once we have it, I think I might just hard code it because these are all going to be like how to programming videos. In fact, like, I wonder if we can just like hack around this and say, um, show more. What is, the, okay, so categories entertainment inspect. Let's see, what is this thing? Change this to, I'm just gonna like look at the logs and change it to um, education and then hit save. And then a whole bunch of API requests happen and did any of them, <laughs> uh, let's see, what were any of these? Um, I wanna see the post requests and I wanna see the category ID, 27. Category, new category, 27. Let's just try it. <laughs> And see what happens. So I'll just hard code it to a uh, category. Oh, I bet it's, is it snake case or camel case? Let's see. So we have to pass in the category ID. Yeah, category ID. So category ID 27, sure. Uh, and then we'll just make a comment here since that's a magic number. Uh, I think Okay, so service.update video. And what else do we need to pass for update video? We've got our part, we got our video object. I think I'm gonna skip this other stuff. And then I think options is probably the same as the options above here. Um, oh gosh, uh, max results. Did we not do this? Okay. Oh, we were just pay. Okay, so, all right, so our pagination for fetch videos worked, but it was doing them five at a time because that other option doesn't do anything. Um, but the pagination is working. It was just getting uh, pages five, five videos at a time. Now it should work with 50 videos at a time. I forgot to update that. Um, but I wanted to grab these, these options here because I think these are what we're gonna need down here uh, in order to actually update this video. So, um, yeah, I think fingers crossed, maybe let's just give this a whirl and see what happens. Um, so I'm gonna reload here, and then I'm gonna create a new y equals thing. Okay, and then y to update video, and let's just see what happens. Oh my gosh, I think it might have totally worked. All right, let's go check out our videos here. So, manage videos. And the one we were messing around with was part three of this series. So let's see what the description looks like. Holy moly, we have a description and it says test. And that's super cool. All right, I'm pumped. This is cool, <laughs> this is super cool. Uh, all right, we're working, we're working with the API here. We're working with the YouTube API to do real stuff. Okay, so now this is where it gets super interesting because now what we want to do is like edit 
our description so that it uses this description template. We use the same title, and now we want to say like um, presenters, and we want to say I want to just like put in some information that's coming from the video in the database. Um, Presenter.name and yeah, we'll say all three of them are presenters and we'll say update video. So this is what the description looks like. Um, yeah, that's what the description looks like. Let's go edit our template too. Edit series so that it doesn't have the title at the top. And go back to our videos to part three here. All right, so this is the description we want it to spit out um, or that we want it to, to use to update the video on YouTube. So let's update our, our update video method here to take in a video object. Um, external video, external video. And then here, we're gonna pass it information from our existing video object. So this ID is gonna be video.youtube ID. Uh, title is gonna be video.title. Education is gonna be our thing. And then we'll say uh, video, let's see, dot description. So that should render our ERB template and spit out a description that will then be sent to YouTube. Uh, but now this definitely requires a video, so we need to pass it a specific video. Um, but let's try it out from Rails console and see what happens. Okay, so y dot up, uh, update, update, yeah, dot update video. And this video has ID three, so we'll say video.find3, and then cross our fingers and hope it doesn't explode. Oh man, holy guacamole. Refresh the page. Oh, so cool, <laughs> so cool. Oh man, I love it, this is so awesome. So it is pulling in our descriptions and totally, this is, this is so cool. I love this. Um, all right, so we have, built a, we have built a video manager in Rails. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this episode here and then in the next episode, I want to, um, what are we gonna do? We are going to, uh, yeah, I think we're going to keep track of the descriptions in like versions of the descriptions so that we can roll back if we want to. I also want to extend the video object so that we can attach metadata to it so that in our templates, we could build templates that use metadata on the video so that you could put literally like any content that you wanted. In, in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, it would be cool to tag each video with if, whether or not it was Ruby or Rails or JavaScript or React or whatever, and then potentially have links to different resources or different playlists or different like whatever, just based on the metadata that's in the video. Um, so uh, yeah, so then let's let's do that in the next in the next session. So um, also. We should blow this away and all the blow all the all the data away and then re-ingest it and set up some more legit templates and more presenters and such because it's like for now it wouldn't be a huge lift to add myself and some other things. Also, it looks super ugly, um, so we got to clean that up, make it make it pretty, make it look uh, make it look even more usable. So in the next one, that that's kind of the plan. So we'll see you in a bit.